Ah, oh, wow, it's been a minute. <laughs> we have a whole new house that y'all don't recognize. Um, maybe one day I'll do a, like, update house tour. I don't think we even ever showed you the house that we lived in previously. You just saw the background and stuff like that, but yeah. Now we live quite a few hours away from where we originally lived. But that's besides the point. Today, um, and you'll have to ignore my face, I am currently dealing with a lot of anxiety and stuff, so I feel like it shows. Just to show you how bad it has been, I am about to make a cup of coffee. <laughs> but today I am making keto dinner. Me and Kristen have been on keto. Well, today's our first day back on it. We kind of cheated for the summer because um, I turned 30. <laughs> um, and she's been busy. But I'm going to make buffalo chicken wings in the air fryer, and I'm going to make Brussels sprouts in the pizza pot. So I have already started preparing my buffalo wings. All I did was put them out on a baking sheet and season them with salt, pepper, garlic, and onion. And yeah, right now I'm going to prep the Brussels sprouts. Alright, so for this recipe, you need two pounds of Brussels sprouts cut in half and washed and all that good stuff. Salt, pepper, it needs veggie stock, but I'm just going to put chicken stock in it, big deal for me. Butter, garlic, and cream cheese. I am having, having the recipe today, um, but what you're going to want to do is put everything in the Instapot, put half a tablespoon of butter in there, salt and pepper, and then we're going to do five cloves, I think, of garlic, one and a half cups of broth, three-fourths a cup of cream cheese, a fourth a cup of Parmesan cheese, which I have to go get, and then bacon bits. And you're going to add all of this into the Instapot, except for... The Parmesan and bacon bits, that'll go in at the end. Alright, so we've got the wings. They're all dried out now. So we're going to put that in the fancy dancy air fryer at 380 for 25 minutes. And then after that goes up, we're going to put it at 400 and keep going until it's crispy enough for my liking. After that's done, we're going to toss it in some, it's one bottle of Frank's hot sauce, six tablespoons of butter, a dash of Tabasco, and a dash of Worcestershire. And I'm debating on whether or not I want to put some ranch packets in it. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's really easy. Oh, when it's in the air fryer, you do have to take it out every five minutes and like shake it around so that all of them are getting crispy and whatnot. Hmm. See if I can figure this out. I don't have any idea how to work this thing. I just got it from my mom. Hmm. Ah! Oh yeah, well yeah, I guess the on button would help. So 380. Oop, there we go. 380 for 25 minutes. Start. It was easier than I thought it would be until I figured out how to turn it on but yeah my mom actually just gave us this not too long ago she says she never used it so this is my first time using it I 
forgot to show putting the parmesan and bacon bits in there but i added it and i closed the lid for like five minutes and then took it off and stirred and then these are the wings out of the air fryer and it looks freaking delicious hey so i forgot to film a clip of us eating the food um it was so good that air fryer works amazing um the sauce the buffalo sauce i made i could probably find a different way to make that kind of sauce because i wasn't too crazy about the one that we made um so i gotta figure out different sauce but the wings mm, on point and the Brussels sprouts were really good too. They were a little heavy, so I would suggest that if you do make them in the future, like, let it just be wings and, like, the Brussels sprouts. We had made broccoli too because we were thinking some of our friends were going to come over, but they didn't end up doing that, so we had, like, three sides. So it was very, very filling, but it was friggin' delicious. Bye, guys.